So before I head to the gym, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be creating a second YouTube channel. And on that second YouTube channel, I'm going to include more of my scientific interests, the conversations I've posted on this channel. Those types of conversations will now be posted on that channel. So um, like talks I do with uh, other scientists or talks about scientific companies or what's going on in that kind of scientific realm, I guess. Uh, will we'll all be posted on the other channel. So I'll put the link to that channel in the description. And this fit, this channel is still going to stay um, just working out, jumping, dunking specific. And yeah, that's pretty much the announcement I wanted to make at the beginning of this video. So I'll see you guys at the gym. So I want to give you guys some commentary to walk you through how this dunk session went. Now this was actually the best dunk session I've had in a long time. Um, as you can see, this first jump here felt really explosive. I felt really fast. And... Before this dunk session, I was feeling pretty off if you watched the last video on this 10-1 hoop. I just have been feeling a little bit of soreness in my knee, haven't really mentioned it in past videos. But these past few days, I've been working to just recover, um, do some foam rolling, some deep tissue release and stuff like that, and stretching. And I've also been working in some new exercises that I'll be still, that you guys will see in other videos. But for this video, I just wanted to take you guys through this dunk session and again, I felt really loose going through this. I felt like I'm getting back to close to where I was um, the, the close to this time last year. But again, hitting a dunk on this hoop at this time is coming earlier than it did last year. And that was the first dunk uh, that I hit. And then right after that, I ended up hitting the best dunk of this session, which I'll cut to right now. So that was the first one that actually felt like it was relatively close to the types of dunks I was hitting when I was dunking at my best. And then after hitting that dunk, I just had more confidence to go for two hand attempts. That was my first two hand attempt. And then did a couple more after that. And that was another one I should have made, but I just kept going with some, some more one hand attempts and just really tried to get my highest. Now on that attempt, if you guys want to go back, I that was kind of a weird approach, but I only took two steps and both of my strides are really long and I was actually surprised that I even got to the rim, but um, I'm going to try for more for more off glass attempts and just try to push myself to hit new dunks every session from now on, um, whether it's just getting higher, higher on one hands, or going for more two handed and um, getting those smoothly. So that was pretty much it for this dunk session, and there was one more attempt right here that felt really good, but overall just felt really good. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.